Good day to everyone. I would like to open up a discussion on religious traditions uh, and I would like to start with the Sabbath and the Emperor Constantine. Now, the books of the Bible were com compiled, some were left out. A council decided what got in, what, what was left out and there were certain changes also made to the worship of the Sabbath. The Lord created everything in six days and rested on the seventh. So you were supposed to not do anything on that day and you were supposed to hold that day as respect unto God. So we're going to talk about the Emperor Constantine. You will find some things that say this is not true, that he did not do this and the church did not do that and change your Sabbath day of worship from Saturday to a Sunday. Many were sun worshippers back then so they worshipped on a Sunday. Christianity was worshipped on a Saturday. So Constantine claimed he had a vision with these words by this sign, conquer a cross above the sun. So he put that sign upon his armies and such and he won his battle. Now what what he wanted to do is is unite, get everybody on the same page <clears throat> as to what they thought about uh, Christ and the resurrection and his divinity and your days of worship he wanted to unite Christianity and paganism and this is from everything that I read on both sides of the issue this is my opinion also in agreement with this the pagans worshipped the sun on the first day of the week and he discovered that many Christians in Roman Alexandria also kept Sunday because Christ rose from the dead on that day. So he developed a plan to unite both groups on the common platform of Sunday. He passed his famous National Sunday Law. He gave uh, authority to the church and then the church went ahead and changed it. Now you can go through your Bible try as hard as you can but you'll never find anything in there to where God authorized the Sabbath to be changed to a different day it's not there so the church thought that they had the authority to do so and they did on the venerable day of the Sun let the magistrates and people residing in cities rest and let all workshops be closed in the country, however, persons engaged in agriculture may freely and lawfully continue their pursuits because it often happens that another day is not suitable for grain sowing or vine planting, least less by neglecting the proper moment for such operations. The bounty of heaven should be lost. He professed to be a Christian, but I've, I've found writings that say he still killed Christians and I also found that he still remained a sun worshiper. But there's other writings that also say that uh, he was a Christian. And the sun was celebrated as the invincible guide and protector of Constantine. This is from the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. He also printed coins that bore on one side the letters of the name of Christ and the other the figure of the sun god. 
he had a strategy and he wanted those two combined so they could have more control he was very crafty you also have another historian confirming this these things that you may read people of Constantinople almost everywhere assembled together on the Sabbath as well as on the first day of the week which custom is never observed at Rome or Alexandria thus even in the fifth century Sabbath, keep, Sabbath keeping was universally prevalent except in Rome and Alexandria about 364 AD the Catholic Church outlawed Sabbath keeping in the Council of Laodicea when they decreed 59 canon laws the following is a relevant canon law Christians must not Judaize by resting on the Sabbath but must work on that day rather honoring the Lord's Day and if they can resting then as Christians but if any shall be found to be Judaizers let them be anathema from Christ and then 400 years after the death of Christ and 100 years after Constantine's linking of church and state by a Sunday law edict Rome and Alexandria were the only places in the world where many Christians kept only Sunday and not the real true Sabbath. Why was it that Rome and Alexandria were the first locations that Sunday worship began? Because this is where the pagan practices of Babylon landed after it was conquered. And what was a dominant pagan practice that the Babylonian priests brought with them? Sun worship. And that was done on Sunday. So you can understand why Rome and Alexandria didn't keep the true Sabbath. They hadn't done it in 200 years. Throughout this changeover in history of the Sabbath to Sunday, Rome and Alexandria worked together. Great as were the favors which Constantine showed to the church, they were only for that strong, close-knit, hierarchically organized portion that called itself Catholic. The various heretical sects could look for no bounty from his hands. The change was totally completed by the 7th century as the popes consolidating their enormous power persecuted all who resisted their innovations. And you could think in one mindset that Satan, the devil, could have played a role in getting this done. Because when masses of people are indoctrinated into generation after generation after generation of being groomed into worshiping on a Sunday when in fact really the Sabbath would be a Saturday in Satan's mind and workings and way he would be leading a flock a little astray possibly it seems and they would not knowingly be not keeping the Sabbath holy Did he use Constantine to play a part? Looks like it to me. From sun worship 2000 BC to Sunday worship in the church, he's infiltrated the Christian church. And most of the churchgoers are oblivious to the fact that this has happened, or do they understand the relevance of, of it? The mystery Babylonian religion went straight into the Church of Rome, and that's why God calls her Babylon. Now the fourth commandment, to remember the Sabbath, concludes the section of the Ten Commandments that specifically help define your relationship with God and how we to love, worship, and relate to Him. Certain Bibles have certain changes and it won't read the same but this is a, a shorter but longer than most remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy six days you 
shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall not do any work, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is, is in them is, and rested the seventh, where the Lord blessed the Sabbath and hallowed it. You can go on to read more in depth about Jesus and the Apostles keeping the Saturday Sabbath and why keeping that day understanding the Sabbath and how keeping that day helps to give you a better relationship with the Lord. And in the Council of Trent in 1545 AD the church leaders ruled that tradition is of great as great authority as the Bible. They, they believed that God gave them the authority to change the Bible in any way they pleased. By tradition, they meant human teachings. Now remember Jesus said, But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. See, the commandments of, of men is nothing. They are not God. And did you know that uh, Virginia, I believe it was 1610, they had a national Sunday law and it was like a three strikes and you're out. If you had committed two strike or one strike, you got a punishment, two strikes, a harsher one, three, three strikes, that was all. You died. Remember what kind of control the church had throughout history, where nobody was allowed to have their own Bibles and such. They were so it is something to think about. How possibly people have not known for a long time how meaningful that change actually is. Now, I think that God would take it to be if you didn't know about these things then possibly you wouldn't be counted a strike against you. But it seems to me that if you did know and you didn't keep it, well there would probably be something maybe to answer for, possibly. In your days of the week, um, some writings you'll find that uh, it's the worship of the sun, you know, gods or so, Sunday, moon, Monday, Hugh, Tuesday, Woden, Wednesday, Thor, Thursday, Frigg, Friday, Saturn, Saturday. So, we just think they're words that name things and go about our business and such. But they all stem from origination. There'll be other writings you'll find that may contradict these things. It's up to you to decide for yourself. But I wanted to make people think about how certain books were held out, certain books were put, allowed to be put together. He who adds to it or takes away from it is cursed. So I don't believe God would allow the, the actual words and the meanings of the Bible to be changed, but I do think He would allow books to be withheld and such and later found generations and generations down the line and I believe that's what's happened there's your Dead Sea Scrolls and such so give it some thought open a discussion tell me what you think <laughs>